What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Version with They All Play. I am Eddie and we are here at the Viridian City Gym, the last stop on our adventure um, right before the Pokemon League. Um, we're having success so far. Uh, we're right outside and in this episode we're going to take down all the trainers inside and do what we can to take down our uh, newly restored rival, Giovanni. I'll switch Gloom to the front because I know mostly ground type Pokemon in here. Um, figure it's a good chance to get Gloom some some good training. Hopefully the speed of Gloom isn't a terrible disadvantage for us. Hmm. Not bad. I know we're going to run out of Giga Drain soon. Luckily we keep full of, you know, health while we're doing it. <clears throat> so hope you guys are having a good week so far. I know I am. We're you know, hard at work here with the, uh, um, the new videos we're putting out with uh, X Xbox 360 footage and, and that sort of thing. Having a good time. Um, I'm really enjoying it. We're doing... All, everything from you know Minecraft to Madden and uh, just have ordered Madden 13 and NCAA 13 I figured you know it's about time I update it you know, that's one of those things if you're gonna do videos you need to have the latest and greatest of all the the versions so that's what I'm doing and uh, you know, hopefully it all works out um, I hope you guys enjoy that as well those videos should come out um, you know, as soon as I get the the equipment, which is which is soon, I hope. You know, Whew. we're surviving so far. Marowax, I'm just not entirely sure. Yeah, we're gonna lose here. Crap. Okay, I do have a revive. Mm. That's not going to cut it. Whew. Yeah, not good at all. We did manage to catch a Pidgeotto in the last uh, episode that's level 37. Which gives us a good advantage um, going forward. I'm gonna jump out of here really quick to go ahead and uh, heal up. Just because, you know, did not expect that. We are doing a little bit of training in the process, trying to get you know our team a little bit more balanced. I think that that's important. You don't want to weight it too far to one side or the other. Right now we're kind of heavy with uh, our big three and Charizard, Vaporeon, and Raichu and um, you know, the next in line is you know, not very great. You know, fighting type next. I'm going to go ahead and put Charizard out there to take the brunt of this one. We did get Burn Blast last episode, which is supposed to be a pretty good move. Um, we used it once against kind of a nothing mist, so the accuracy is a little bit of an issue. Um, the power is nice, not gonna lie, um, but that's not the only thing in the world, you know. Okay, so we got a tamer. Rhyhorn. Okay, we should be in good shape here. Oh, yeah. Good to go. I like it. I like it a lot. Get Gloom some nice training. I think we have Solar Beam as a TM. 
that I need to use for sure. Marowak is the one that posed the problem earlier. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Good. surviving but just barely I don't think we'll make it out of this one dang it all right it's that Marowak that throws us off well, just not as super effective as I need it to be nope what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I've been kind of stocking up a little bit for the Elite Four, um, you know, which is all well and good. Um, but I feel like it may be my best interest to just go ahead and use what I need to use now, you know, um, get it out of the way, and let it be what it is. <clears throat> not worry about it. You know, and if push comes to shove, I can always buy revives. That's, you know, it's a buyable item, so. Ooh, we got Nido Queen. Didn't Body Slam used to hit with recoil? I thought it did. Alright, so... Boom is still first. I'm gonna change that out because we got fighting type coming up. Come on, guy. I am gonna switch Burn Blast and Flamethrower. Um, just so I don't accidentally hit Burn Blast when I mean to hit Flamethrower. Especially once we get up to the Elite Four, that wouldn't be good. So we're chugging right along here, taking out a good, you know, decent amount of trainers. Can't get back over there. We'll do what we can with what we've got. Ooh, Dragon Rage. That will come in handy for sure. I'm going to do that instead of Wing Attack, because we do have a Flying type. Dragon Rage is going to come in handy because Dragon moves are strong against Dragons, which Lance has. So, we'll be in good shape there. I had no idea that Charizard could learn that. Keep that in my back pocket. I think we only have a few more trainers to fight in here, to be honest with you. Before Giovanni, of course. here. 
Oh, didn't mean to do that, but it works. Let's put gloom in. See what we can do with that. Nice. Sand slash. The speed is a little bit harder to deal with. Oh my goodness. Sand slash is such high defense. Good, I needed that to hit. change out for Nita Reno. And I'll keep Charizard out for Nito King. Now I feel like we match up well against Giovanni, just given the types that we have. You know, we got Gloom, uh, who will be in the reserves. You know, just in case I need it. Um, but really, I think Vaporeon will be our heavy hitter going in. Uh, I'm going to start out with Vaporeon simply because I can. Um, so here we go, guys. Battle with our long lost rival, Giovanni. Um, I feel like he becomes more of a rival than even, you know, Keith has uh, in these, you know, these past couple of. Uh, episode simply because the battles are more intense, you know, they're for um, advancing the story, whereas you fight your rival just to, you know, just because he's there. <clears throat> so we start out with Vaporeon against Rhyhorn. Water Pulse should easily deal with that. We'll go to level 55, which I like. The Trio. So, you know, this presents an interesting matchup, though. I'm going to put Gloom out for it just in case. You know, maybe we can get a good leg up on Doug Trio. Perhaps not. <laughs> See, Earthquake is a good move, and I need to be wary of that going in. Because uh, it's a... It's a... Pretty sure it's a one-hit KO. No, I'll leave it around in for Nito Queen. And you surf good on. Matching up well. I'm doing okay here. You surf again. Still doing alright. We got one more Pokemon before we have an 8th badge, guys. One more. And it's done. We have all 8 badges now. It's truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the Earth Badge. It's a token of everything that we've worked for up until this point. 5,000. Nice. Nice. Earthquake, yep. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here, far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And he disappears. Ah. It feels good. It feels good to have the 8th badge. I'm not even gonna lie, that's it's awesome. And now he's gone again. <laughs> uh, I 
can't believe our journey's taken us this far already. I mean, 28 episodes in, and we're already eight badges. You know, that's that's awesome to me. That's just great. Ooh, I did not expect this. Okay. Pijot. Let's put out Raichu. Yeah, I didn't expect this fight to come. Guess I should have healed up a little bit, right? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I think we'll be okay. We'll change Pokemon for Rhyhorn to Vaporeon. I'm going to try to win the tight battle here just to give myself a litmus test as to, you know, if we're prepared fully for the Pokemon League or if I need to start looking for uh, help elsewhere. Execute. We match up well with Charizard there. Blastoise, we match up well with Raichu. And Gloom, to be honest. You know, if in the clutch we didn't have Raichu available, you know, Gloom is there to kind of fill the void. Although Blastoise's defense is just super high. We're about to get a crap ton of experience from this, watch. Yeah, 2300. That beast. And Growlithe, we have Vaporeon. So we win the tight battle. So far, I think he has Alakazam left. And Vaporeon has Bite. So I'll leave Vaporeon out to face the Alakazam. Because I think that that's, you know, that's a matchup that we'll like. But at the same time, Alakazam's defense is so weak, I can use Charizard and just flamethrower it if I need to. Calm Mind. see. Ooh. Yeah, and even Surf is enough to take him out, so I think we're okay there. Okay. So... I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and, and call this episode, guys. It's been a it's been a good adventure so far. We've done a good job. It's a little bit shorter than than our past couple of episodes have been, but we've gotten you know the ultimate goal, which is eight badges, and in our entrance into the Pokemon League. So we're gonna make it over to the Pokemon League building, and then um, yeah, then we'll wrap this up. You know, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You guys make this so worth it. Um, you know, I love doing these Let's Plays because of, you know, you guys. Um, you guys are great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this video or if you have suggestions, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I always read those and, you know, I take every suggestion to heart. I really, really do. Um, while you're down there, go ahead and, you know, hit the like button on this video and, and show us your appreciation. Uh, it helps us grow and it, it lets us know that what we're doing is the right thing. So um, subscribe for up-to-the-minute uh, content brought to you. You know, like I said, we have Xbox videos that are coming out. We're doing a lot of different stuff here at Dale Play. And um, this Pokemon Let's Play is just one of the little facets of, of all of that. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'm Eddie with Dale Play, and I will see you guys later. Peace.